Everybody in this house needs to calm down and eat some fruit or something. Remember when you were young. Lots of times there are seagulls, negative results, always. Got it! Reading over a hundred jet skis. Jesus. <laughs> you shine like the sun. Pick it up on my... Restarting. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Those are numbers. That was a three. The one before it was a two. Um, base ten numbers. Just start counting now, That's see how far we can get. One. Seven. Seven. Those are primes. Two, three, five, seven. Those are all prime numbers. And there's no way that's a natural phenomenon. Holy okay, shit. Okay, let's just calm down and pull up the star file on Vega. It doesn't make any sense. The system is too Zero young, so it can't have a planetary system, let alone life, let alone a decrease. Let alone a decrease. Let alone a decrease. Let alone a We think that this, this may be a beacon, some kind of a, an announcement to get our attention. Well, if it's attention you want, I think you got that. <laughs> People have been looking at Vega for years, no results, and now, yesterday, they started broadcasting Prime. Why? Well, it's hardly yesterday, because the, the signal has been transmitting for 26 years. Dr. Arlen. Excuse me, um, oh, who are you? Quickly, we could have lost key elements. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, There's no way that a mouse could kill a scorpion. Dude, a mouse could kill a scorpion. Sharp. A rat a could kill a scorpion. Well, no shit, Frank. But we're not talking about a rat. They've got the primes, but if you're right about there being a more significant transmission, still. Exposed in the light. You're talking about a little mouse. It's still a little mouse fighting a scorpion. The call. Also, need the network's help to receive a new code button. Doctor, do you understand that my job? Is to check I Shut up! Oh my god, I don't care! Shut up! Hear what? Harmonic? Bingo! I had really asked for 10 to re but retune to 8.9247 gigahertz. There's a lot. Here, folks. 
All right, fish, let's get on the negative side, band. I'm already right. on it. What is going on? Another oh. segment. Trying frame two. Uh, I've got an offset carrier here. I think it's audio. Plug it in, plug it in. You see it? Zoom it out. I freeze. Reverse values. Uh, try zooming out again. Rotate 90 degrees counterclock. What's going on? I'm not going to believe this. We found a series of markers on, on, on the top of each frame. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, send it, Willie. Okay, here it comes. Massive amounts of data, which extend right to the higher harmonics. All right, as you'll see, interlaced with the frames of the original Hitler image. We found these sections. Now, we, we, we thought they were just noise, but they're actually data, huge amounts of it. Now, when we combine this with the data from the amplification of the original signal, we get these encrypted pages of text. Now, no two are alike. And we've uncovered over 10,000 already. What does it mean, Doctor? <sighs> well, we have no idea. It could be anything. It could be uh, the first volume of an Encyclopedia Galactica. Instructions to acquaint us with their colonization procedure. How long will it take to decode it? Oh, it could take forever. We really need a primer up. We need to get Heat. the best decryption people we have. I intend to use the DLA as my command post. The kind of people. That you want talking to your God for you. Many governments, business interests. Even religious leaders that would like to see me depart this earth. I'll grant them their wish soon enough. But before I do, I wish to make a small contribution. Final gesture of goodwill to the people of this little planet that have given. If 
from whom I have taken so much. You found the primer. <laughs> Clever girl. In all, and on the perimeter of each alignment symbols, uh, registration mark, but they don't line up. They do, if you think like a vegan. An alien intelligence has got to be more advanced. That means efficiency functioning on multiple levels and in multiple dimensions. Where's the primer? You'll see. Every three-dimensional page contains a piece of the primer. There it was all the time, staring you in the face. Within the message, message itself, itself is the key to decoding it. Within the layering of the matrix, we have these basic equations. So with this very elementary foundation, they've given us a kind of general scientific vocabulary. We now have the symbols for true and false. And this was the key, to put it simply, that allowed us to decipher their language for physics. <laughs> Geometry, chemistry, next frame, Ellie. Yes, and when we uh, apply this to the rest of the message... Find this. Those look like engineering schematics, almost like blueprints. Oh, yeah. Yes, um, it is our belief that the message contains instructions for building something. <laughs> Kind of machine. A machine? That does what, Doctor? Well, we don't know. It might be some type of uh, uh, advanced uh, communication device, or it could be a, a teaching machine of some kind, or... Uh... It might turn out to be some kind of a transport. Transport? There's no proof of that. The fact is, you don't know what it does. It could be anything. It could be a Trojan horse. We build it and up pours the entire vegan army. Why 
bother even risking the personnel. It could be a weapon. All right, some kind of a doomsday machine. Exactly. Every time they detect a new civilization, they fax down these construction documents from outer space. We poor saps build whatever this thing is. Doesn't blow ourselves to kingdom come. Well, there's no reason to believe that their, their intentions are hostile. <laughs> Would you consider yourself a, uh, a spiritual person? Uh, I, I don't really understand the point of the question. Uh... I think what Mr. Joss is in fact asking... Do you believe in God? As a scientist, I uh, rely on empirical evidence, and uh, in this matter, I, I don't believe... ...that there is data either way. So your answer would in fact be that you don't believe in God? I just, I don't understand the relevance of the question. D Dr. Arroway. Ninety-five percent of the world's population believes in a supreme being in one form or another. I believe that makes the question more than relevant. Dr. Arroway? I believe, um... I believe I've already answered that question. taken advantage of. Unfortunately, we don't live in that world. All systems are out. This is really something. Dr. Drumlin will be on top of the gantry crane that's over the machine. We've got some uh, some video animation to show you. Just how this machine, it is thought, will work. The passenger pod will be released. It'll come down through the center of the rings. And into the machine's core. The big question everyone here is asking is, of course, what happens then? Some believe that the rings function as some sort of an accelerator or something, uh, sending its energy into this passenger pod. Making it rocket away at near the speed of light. Other people believe it might open up a doorway to some other dimension. Who's right? Well, that's what today's test is all about.
searching, the only thing we found that makes the emptiness bearable is each other. What happens now? Now? You go home. So, <coughs> so you think you can tell this was just the first step. In time, you'll take another. Heaven from hell. Blue skies from pain. But other people need to see what I've seen. They need to see. This is the way it's been done for billions of years. Can you tell a green field? From a cold steel rail. A small moves, Ellie. Small moves. A smile from a veil. Do you think you can tell? Doctor, I'd like to propose an alternate hypothesis, if I may, and I'd like you to bring your considerable scientific expertise to bear on it. To, um, fake a signal from Vega. What would you need? You need a satellite to transmit the signal, but it would be impossible to simulate something. You'd need a satellite, and you'd need launch capabilities to put the satellite into orbit. And of course, the message itself, to put something like this together. So, 
complex, drawing on so many different disciplines. Would be impossible. 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 Is there anyone who might have been up to the challenge? Someone with extraordinary technical expertise. Enormous financial resources. Someone perverse enough, eccentric enough to have come up with the idea in the first place? S. R. Haddon. You're implying that this was all some kind of a hoax, that, that he engineered this? S. R. Haddon. A legendary power broker and manipulator in perhaps his final bid for immortality. Maybe he wanted to explore and exploit experimental technologies and get the governments of the world to pick up the tab. Perhaps this was his final altruistic gesture to unite the world in some common goal. Maybe all of the above. S.R. had a brilliant, complicated man. Doctor, are you familiar with the scientific precept known as Occam's razor? means that all things being equal, the simplest explanation tends to be the right one. Exactly. Now. We're just two lost souls swimming in a fishbowl, year after year. Exactly. Now, you tell me, what is more likely here? Running over the same old ground, have we found? That a message from aliens results in a magical machine that whisks you away to the center of the galaxy to go. The same old fish. Wish you were here. Windsurfing with dear old dad, and then a split second later returns you home without a single shred of proof. Or that your experience is the result of being the unwitting star in the farewell performance of one S.R. Haddon, a man with the means, the motive, and the opportunity to play you and indeed the rest of us as pawn in the biggest, the most elaborate, the most expensive hoax of all time. Is it possible that it didn't happen? Yes. As a scientist, I must concede that. I must volunteer that. admit that you have absolutely no physical evidence to back up your story. Yes. You admit that you very well may have hallucinated this whole thing. Yes. You admit that if you were in our position, you would respond... <laughs> respond ...with exactly the same degree of incredulity and skepticism. Then why don't you simply withdraw your testimony? Knows where you are. And
can see that this journey to the center of the galaxy, in fact, never took place. Because I can't. I had an experience. I can't prove it. I can't even explain it. Everything that I know as a human being, everything that I am tells me that it was real. <laughs> I was given something wonderful, something that changed me forever. A vision of the universe. <laughs> that tells us undeniably how tiny and insignificant and how rare and, we'll bask in the shadow. and precious we all are. A vision that tells us that we belong to something that is greater than ourselves. That we are not, that none of us are alone. continues to be my wish. As a person of faith, I'm bound by a different covenant than Dr. Airway. The pursuit of truth. I, for one, believe her. Now, all uh, we really need is the money. <laughs> A nice presentation, Doctor. I must confess that your proposal seems less like science and more like science fiction. Look, all I'm asking is, is for you to just have the tiniest bit of vision. You know, to, to step back for one minute and look at the big picture. chance on something that just might end up being the most profoundly impactful moment for humanity. For the history of history. I'm sorry, I just...
truth is, you're my last chance, so I'm sorry I wasted your time. Doctor. Yes, sir. You have your money. <laughs>